this sample is the blanket stitch, not to be confused with the buttonhole stitch. I've got a piece of muslin here that is five inches wide by three and three quarter inches. I did not pink the edges on purpose. I'm simply going to fold it in half. And this stitch is often used on edges to kind of protect the edge so that it doesn't fray as bad. And it's often, I guess it was often used on blankets, so um, it was called a blanket stitch. And so I'm simply going to use a double thread. And in some cases, you might use a quadruple. <clears throat> and I'm going to start at one, the, the, one of the edges, one of the raw edges. You're going to begin by pulling your thread through. The first stitch is kind of odd. So I'm going to take a stitch right where that one came out, the last one came out, and pull my thread through. But before I pull it tight, I'm going to put my needle through the loop. And this is the stitch that you're going to continue. Now I don't want to put it, pull it real tight because I don't want to make that edge curl. I'm going about an eighth of an inch away. I'm pulling. And again, I'm simply just putting my needle through the loop and pulling it through. And this is going to create, and again, you see this little um, stitch that's laying on the top, on the edge? That's what should happen. If you have to put your finger on it to kind of make sure it stays there, but you don't want to pull your stitches so tight that it curls the edge. So again, I'm going an eighth of an inch. I'm pulling. And I'm going to put my needle through the loop and pull. And I think I got a stitch out of place. So you should begin to get a little bit of an edge on the edge. Um, I'm going to pull a little tight just so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to put my needle through the loop, pull. If I pull too tight, I begin to do something like this. It, it begins to crunch the edge, curl it. And that's not what you want to do. You want to kind of just let it rest on top of there. Uh, I think the stitch that got pulled is this one. So you see what happens? You really don't want to do that. You want to make the stitch just lay just on the top of that. Again, I'll do it one more time. Put your needle through. The closer you do this, the more like an overlock stitch is going to look. And it's um, fairly simple. Again, I'm just putting my needle through. Putting my needle through the loop and pull. So again, so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when I went all the way around my raw edges. I also want to point out that um, if you run out of thread, well, you see that thick spot there? That's where I ran out of thread. So I ended it and I started again. And I went all the way around to the edge. And what you would do is uh, you would probably want to take your, you know, your last stitch and bring it to the back, whatever, whatever side's your back. And do the same thing you always do with any stitching. You just kind of take a tack stitch or knot off. Oops, see, and I pulled way too tight. I'll straighten that out. I think. Well, maybe not. There we go. So I'm going to take a few stitches in place just to lock it. And you'll be done. And I just want to show you how that it creates a stitch along the edge of the um, fabric. And that would help protect it. And there we go. A blanket stitch. Sometimes this is used to sew track hair onto wigs. Um, they often use the blanket stitch to attach the hair. A wefts of hair, you might call it. Okay, that's it.